Hello everyone, and thanks for joining us today on This Is Drive as we review the legendary 2019 Ford Mustang Bullet Edition. This car commemorates the 50th anniversary of the 1968 film Bullet starring Steve McQueen and the 1968 Mustang GT. The movie has one of the most famous racing scenes ever made through the streets of San Francisco. So it was important that when they made the new iteration of the Bullet commemorating that vehicle, they made it very sporty um, and still, you know, very um, somewhat of a throwback, you know, stylistic speaking. They did a really good job with that. I personally love this edition. I think it encapsulated the sleek look of the previous generation. It makes you feel cool, like Steve McQueen. It adds several features that were previously options on the Mustang GT, including an active exhaust system, performance package, which includes red Brembo brake front brake calipers, suspension and chassis upgrades, a limited slip differential, and 19-inch aluminum wheels in black. It even gets an increasingly rare manual transmission, complete with a white cube ball knob shifter. Definitely one of my favorite things on the interior of this car. And as Ford's 5-liter V8 pumps out a thrilling 480 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. It adds 20 more horsepower than the standard Mustang GT. and has a top speed of 163 miles per hour, which is an 8 mile per hour increase over the Mustang GT. Like, you really needed that after all, right? Because, of course, you know, we're going to be heading out at 168 miles per hour. Very few people will probably actually be doing that after all. Well, at least, hopefully. I, you know, again, really just think that the interior and exterior design just couples so well with each other. You know, it really just continues to give the Bullet Edition that classic Mustang look. It really makes you feel like you're back in time. Well, that's until you step on the interior and notice the giant screen that is now your gauge display. It is really one of my favorite new features on the interior of the Mustang. Um, it features so many different configurations. Um, you have the um, standard one, with, which is considered you know, like the touring one, and it has you know, two different uh, gauge pieces here. We have the you know, round spindles on each side. Then if we move up to the sport model um, gauge display, that is, the tachometer actually becomes um, sort of a you know round but then goes across the top looks pretty sleek then on the track mode the top changes into just a full tachometer from the left hand side to the right hand side and then your speed is in the lower right hand corner just digitally um, you know i think that with any of those you know models any of those um, screens that is they look you know very very good uh, it's very customizable displays various informations such as your navigation your trip, uh, but then there's a lot of other customizations that you can go into this screen and do. Pressing the Mustang button or the, the pony button, if you will, on the steering wheel brings up a new screen um, where you can configure your active exhaust. Um, and just, oh my God, the exhaust, it sounds so incredible. Um, this is a side note there, but we will definitely get more into that later. Um, you can even customize, you know, the colors of everything. The, you know, again, this, the, um, the configuration of the gauge display, um, the color, even the color mode, you can create your own colors, which is, you know, really quite something. So definitely, you know, very good, clear, crisp screen. Really appreciated that um, in this new model. Looking throughout the rest of the interior, we have heated and cooled seats, as well as a heated steering wheel for those, you know, cool evening summer nights or maybe, you know, fall days as well. Um, the seats in this car, they're very comfortable. You know, they're not really, you know, the typical racing seats that we see in, you know, quite a few Mustangs, but rather they're more of a touring seat. You know, the bolsters aren't that deep. Very comfortable, finished in very nice soft leather. Um, again, you know, they have the heated and cooled functions, which I think is, you know, fantastic. This particular Mustang, you know, is really good for road trips, in my opinion. It's very comfortable. You can actually get around 28 to 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. Yes, I said almost 30 miles to the gallon on the highway from a V8. That is, you know, partly in thanks um, to the how the gearing is set up. You know, the sixth, the sixth gear, you know, ran around 2,000 RPMs, um, about 75 miles per hour, which, you know, is, is optimal for fuel economy. Um, you know, throwing back to that whole, you know, bullet green, we have some interior stitching here, which is done in green. And, you know, it's a nice little touch. But other than that, you know, other than the, you know, 
couple different bullet insignias on the inside, one being on the steering wheel, the other being on the passenger side dashboard and the green stitching. Not a whole lot of difference here uh, between this Mustang on the interior and the you know new standard one. Of course, I did forget to mention the you know the shifter here is definitely uh, a fun one as, as well. Um, the bullet is also only available in the six-speed manual, uh, no automatic here, thankfully. Um, definitely keeping the purists happy, including myself. Um, now, if we step in on the clutch, we hit the engine start button. Ah, you can hear the bullet roar to life, and uh, it does indeed do that. It is, of course, you know, a Mustang, so it's a very, very fun to drive. And when you're just, you know, driving this particular version, you know, it just really makes you feel like you're getting thrown back in time a little bit. And uh, that is something that I feel the Mustang has always had over you know, some of its competitors. It feels more classic, you know, and after all, it really was one of the first, um, you know, American muscle cars. And this, the, you know, the history behind that, coupling that with the history of the Bullet Mustang, really just makes this car feel special. You know, it does cost $48 thousand dollars which is about a twelve thousand dollar increase over the uh, Mustang GT premium so you know obviously you know there's a bit more money but also the value is going to you know stay in my opinion with, with this model you know it's gonna be a limited run they're not gonna make you know a ton of them and uh, it's just you know again a very very special Mustang and it is actually my favorite edition of the Mustang. Yes, even more so than the Shelby GT350. I feel that that's because this car so perfectly encapsulates what the Mustang is, you know, really all about. It's that fun American, you know, sports sedan, uh, rather two-door muscle car. And uh, it this has such a, you know, classic feel to it. You know, whether you get the green or the black paint color, just the, the red Brembo brakes. Let's take a moment and appreciate the exhaust. Ah, oh, sounds so good, okay? Couldn't have done a better job with, with the exhaust note in this car. I mean, oh my God. It's, in, it's really intoxicating, it is. Yeah, I'm going to get a, some type of citation here for speed, I better slow down. <laughs> But yeah, even that extra 25 horsepower, let me tell you, you can feel it. It just, oof, it goes so fast so quickly. Um, but, you know, again, it's just uh, out here on Woodward Avenue in, you know, Detroit, Michigan, north of Detroit here, and driving the Bullet Mustang along, and it just feels right, you know? Another thing to note is that it has a downshift rev matching, so you can really, you know, enjoy those, those sounds. You know, I, well, I, you know, of course, can do it myself. Just having the system do it so much easier. Not to mention, it's so perfect every single time. Um, something to, you know, appreciate. And that was something before, you know, I felt the Mustang as a whole was lacking. You know, was the, of course, the downshift rev matching like so many others had. You know, especially the Camaro. And so it's definitely a good thing that they finally stepped up and, you know, put that in in their cars. Um, but overall, I absolutely just love driving this thing. The steering is, you know, very precise and mm, just oh, gets you every time. It's better than it's better than Cedar Point. It really is. It's just so much growl to the exhaust note, and this is just the normal exhaust note. The you know Sport and Track ones just a little bit louder. Um, but you can really, you know, just get that, uh, that good feeling from it. It's just, you know, such a fun car, you know, for the price, you know, around 48 grand. Add a few options, you know, you're in the, the low 50s, but this car really already has everything that you would want from a Mustang. It also has the premium Bang & Olufsen sound system. Uh, it has a really large subwoofer in the trunk, too. It sounds very crisp, very clear. Nice deep bass. Uh, but, yeah, overall, I think Ford just really hit the nail on the head with this car, you know, adding some really nice tech features to it. Uh, to make it, you know, go above and beyond what's, you know, really currently available in most Mustangs. You know, the downshift rev matching, the screen, the new digital instrument cluster. Um, and then, you know, coupling that with, you know, just the classic design, you know, again, in either a green or a black. Red Brembo brake calipers, classic black wheels. You really just, you can't go wrong with the 2019 
Ford Mustang Bullet.